Chris. I'm Kristen and welcome back to Keto in the Country. Today we're going to be making our weekend meal recipe. It's a delicious mushroom stuffed blank steak that you are not going to want to miss, so don't go anywhere. Be sure to join us on Wednesdays where we troll the internet for some interesting recipes to see how they turn out for us or you because I know sometimes when we see those recipes we don't know whether we want to try them or not right. so we're doing that for you um, and because sometimes some, some of them look really intimidating and then it ends up being like it was a so, piece of cake it's yeah, so everything easy. in your cabinet so that's on Wednesdays but today we're doing the stuffed blank steak Yes, stuffed with mushrooms. It is one of my favorite steaks, um, and so I think this is gonna be a really delicious meal. It's perfect for a date night, a really nice meal for family and friends. Um, it's so beautiful, and it looks like you put a lot of work into it. But it looks very easy. We haven't made it yet. That's, that's what we're gonna do. Yes. Um, but it looks very easy. Also, uh, just a side note, uh, we're gonna put the macros in the show notes. In this meal, uh, since it's suitable for the whole family or friends, it's not loaded with fat like we tend to do if, if you have the keto lifestyle. Right. Um, so for your portion, just add some butter, some olive oil. Kristen has a great cilantro basil sauce that we posted. That would be really good. Yes. Everybody's going to want that though. And you can always make a Bernays sauce. We have a hollandaise sauce that's posted and the only difference between that and Bernays is that Bernays has a little bit more herbs and you don't use the lemon juice. So I did not know that until... I know. Well, I didn't either until I called my mom and asked. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and get in the kitchen, try and test this one out for you, and then we'll be back to show you how we like it. one more meal and now we have to taste it. I know. We pulled out of the oven, we let it rest for about 10 minutes, would yeah, you say? About 10 minutes. For about 10 minutes and we've been dying to dig in, so here we go. And I have to say before you can dig in. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it cut very tender. And another note, it took us a while to to pound it down to about a quarter of an inch. And I don't I don't think we made it to a quarter of an inch. I don't know if it was quite a quarter. It's probably closer to a half, but it still is very tender, and there goes my son. <laughs> oh, it's worth it. Holy crap. <laughs> it's really good. That's worth it. Um, this dish was so simple to make. This meal is seriously totally worth it. I'm already thinking in my head, like, how many different you know, occasions we can it's use this so, meal for. It's so pretty. I think it we should do it for Thanksgiving. It's perfect for the holidays. It's perfect for a dinner party. It's one of those pieces you look at it. And really, if you see it, you're like, oh, I'll never be able to make that. Like, that's what I would think if I, I saw it. People will be so impressed. Right. Like, like, and it, it was fun to make and you feel so proud of yourself yeah. after when you see the end result and just 
So if you want more dishes like this and uh, dinner ideas, and if you want to join us for our Wednesday uh, web troll to see what recipes we can come our up with. Our taste testing review. Please like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. See you next time. I well, I didn't know if we were going to. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know if we were going to. Copy. Look, we're famous. Jordan, it's happening. <laughs>